Hello and welcome to the CEO Teacher Season 2. I am your host Daud Waid. And this time I'm traveling and I thought I must tell you something about the travels I do. You see, my best travels aren't the ones I do for work or even the spiritual ones. Honestly, they are the ones that I plan for my family, my daughter specifically. But then, it's not just a travel for me. I plan, brood over it, I think, contemplate, look at the options, visit places, check on the reviews. And believe me, it is, I keep telling my wife that after a travel I would probably need another one because I've overspent thinking and planning this vacation than anything I've done before. But what is the result? I'll tell you one testimonial and that would be enough for you to understand the result. We had been to South India and I asked my daughter how was the Cochin trip and she said you know Abba the time we were speeding on the highway and we saw the coconut fellow and we stopped by and had that coconut I think that was the best time I enjoyed my vacation and I was surprised amused rather of all the hotels we had the amazing lounges the access to the best restaurant the Wanderla amusement park we went to and all she felt was that coconut vendor by the roadside but that is exactly what gave me an insight it's the moments you remember not the entire week and experiences this is what we are unable to create in our organizations in our school and as a CEO teacher mentor and coach I feel I must highlight and ask you and urge you what are your moments in your classroom if a student were to finish the entire year in your let's say grade 6 how would the student remember the experience of you teaching grade 6 is it gonna be just few theories and workshops and lessons and assessment or there would be some amazing things you created they would remember I'll give you an example let's say if you were to check out the best restaurant in Los Angeles one name would pop up in the top three rated restaurants or hotels and that is called Magic Castle Hotel now out of the hundreds rather thousands of hotels available there is a Four Seasons, there is Ritz Carlton, there is Beverly Hills what is special about Magic Castle Hotel? In fact, over 3000 reviews and counting now on TripAdvisor, 93% of guests have rated the hotel as either excellent or very good. There must be something amazing about the hotel, isn't it? If, but if you look at the Magic Castle, I want to urge you to Google Magic Castle Hotel in LA. It is a good hotel. You know, the pool is big enough for an Olympic side in your backyard. The rooms are dated, there is just very minimum furniture in the room and most walls are even bare. In fact, um, the Magic Castle Hotel looks like a two-story apartment painted completely canary bright yellow. So what makes this hotel? It is definitely not a cheap hotel, it's an expensive hotel, but it is not a Marriott or a Hilton or a Four Seasons. So why is it the top rated hotel in LA? So let's start with understanding the hotel if you were swimming in this hotel's pool in the magic castle they would have a beautiful red color cherry telephone mounted to the wall near the pool you have to just pick it up and somebody will say hello popsicle hotline and you place an order and within minutes a staff would come wearing white gloves on a silver tray having cherry orange or gray popsicle for you for free wow and then there's a snack menu with list of goodies from Kit Kats to cold drinks to Cheetos that can be ordered again at no cost. There is a board game menu and any movie you can watch on all loaned for free. Three times a week magicians come and perform tricks at breakfast. And did I also mention that there is unlimited loads of laundry for free washing. And clothes are returned the very same day wrapped up in butcher paper tied up with some twine and a spring of lavender. It is more pomp and ceremonious than the doctor would give you your own daughter when she is born. Wow! You see, the guest reviews in Magic Castle are just magnanimous. Why is that? Because it's not the swimmings that you've done, it's not the hotel's air condition, it is the moments like popsicle hotline that you remember. You may have visited big hotels, Lee Meridian perhaps, 
but then you can't come and boast about it that would be like an arrogant basher who says look i paid 500 dollars for a one night at lemeridian but you can always come and say you know what this hotel in in la where they give you free popsicle and they do the laundries which is really amazing i think i would love to spend my entire life in the hotel if i were that kind of millionaire that's a meaningful experience that we all have to create you see sometimes we are not very good at creating such moments for children imagine a teacher and that's what i would love to do you are a ceo teacher so you are planning your history curriculum for the semester and every period looks roughly the same so all you're doing is flipping units after unit there is no celebration for a unit closure there is no celebration for a unit introduction speaking of history i was doing world war 2 with my 6th graders just last week and what did i do oh well i dressed up and i had to borrow the khakis from my friends i didn't have the military uniform then i borrowed my wife's black paint or whatever you uh, the women put on their faces i'm very sorry with that cosmetic part but i put myself in a camouflage uniform adorned with a hat or a cap and then i went down with a gun in my hand good nobody took my photograph and i had a powerpoint with all the best of the sounds and bombing the allies and the axes and every child in the class was asked to bring few guns we made some bombs and then we said we'll recreate history it's like the new movie that you have uh what is the man in the high castle i said even the axes the germans the nazis can win if you don't play well in this particular classroom battle boy was that a memorable moment i didn't have to memorize all the axes and allies today my students can tell you what a europe map during world war 2 looks like and i'm not boasting about it i'm feeling so proud and privileged to be able to take a class like that that is what i'm asking you if there is no attempt to shape a few peak moments perhaps they will all be clubbed together like your vacations that you've gone for and it's a distant memory oh yeah i went to paris and there was this distant land but you have no time to recall a special moment that one amazing thing that you can have so what is what makes a moment memorable and meaningful well it could be short as in a month in your lifetime or it could be a minute in the context of a customer's center it could be that little smile but that moment it defines you your classrooms your organizations so i leave you with two different small points what and how to make a moment beautiful the first word is called insightful you know sit down before you plan a lesson and say how do i make my class a little more insightful a little more deep can i connect it with some real world crisis It could be talking about Japan and the tsunamis. It could be talking about environment, and I took them through the whale hunting classes, the story of Eunice, Jonah, and then we said these are the Moby Dick, the whales that we are hunting in Norway and Japan, and that was a moment they understood what harpoon can do. And then the moments have to be shared. You know, it's not fun to sing. You are not a bathroom singer. It is something that you joy. You know, why do we have birthday celebrations and parties? because it is the joy ride together it's no fun to go all alone it's fun to have together so what are your connections so it could be wedding graduation baptism vacation you know speeches sporting events it's the shared memories that become moments so i leave you with these two things make your classes make your lessons make your speeches insightful and have a shared moment to celebrate until then as i always your host looks forward to your feedback criticism brickbat and bouquet for your ceo teacher good night and bye bye